Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Gemini, as we've already shuffled the cards for time purposes. So let's get right into it. Now, your first card here is the Queen of Swords. And this is in regards to your finances sector. Uh, so you may be dealing with an air sign, um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Uh, this can also very well be your energy, uh, Gemini. So what they're telling me is that for some of you guys, you are definitely experiencing like being very sharp, being very on point in regards to accomplishments, in regards to goals that you're trying to achieve or you're trying to attain. I definitely see you guys more focused, more determined. For others of you guys, this could very well represent um, if you felt at some point uh, in the past couple of weeks that you're very, you're experiencing having a very like sharp tongue, uh, this very well could be because at this point, I feel that for a lot of you guys, um, there's been situations or scenarios in the work field or in your finances where you've needed to speak up and you kind of held your tongue. So at this point, uh, there's a lot of like um, feeling of, again, like I said, like your temper may be a little bit short uh, for the month of December. But also, I think that the positive about this is because you're speaking your mind and you're trying to get your point across as I do see you guys very determined and currently very focused. Now, in regards to uh, in regards to your communication, you have the hanged man. So the hanged man, um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Pisces. For others, you may be experiencing feeling like not really wanting to communicate as you would usually communicate, uh, perhaps even being a bit secluded, a bit private. Um, for some of you guys, it's almost like you guys, I see you guys trying to process a situation or feelings um, or even how you're thinking. So a lot of seclusion. I feel that this is, um, if you've been doing this uh, the past couple of months, I feel that you're getting to the verge of finally being able to come out, finally being able to surround yourself with friends and family members, etc. But the focus is still there and it's very prominent. For others of you, again, like I said, I do see you guys very secluded. For some of you guys, it could be dealing with hardships in regards to relationships or in regards to the family dynamic. Um, I see you guys more like, again, like I said, trying to process a situation or your emotions. I know a lot of the times when Geminis get very emotional, uh, it's very difficult for you guys to actually express that emotion. So what you do is you kind of draw back. So I definitely see you guys doing that. And it's almost like feeling very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like very foreign to you guys, uh, because you do need that communication. That is your energy, the element of air communication. Um, but again, I think that this is, a, if you are currently experiencing this, I think this is good because it's going to help you recharge your batteries. It's also going to be able to almost do like a detox type of energy cleansing for your for yourself. So this is definitely a good thing. Um, don't rush yourself or don't feel like you have to, um, like you have to rush into uh, reacting to situations. Um, I think that for a lot of you guys, there is a lot of emotions that are cur you're currently trying to understand or you're trying to go through or trying to overcome. And the hanged man, sometimes it's necessary for us to take a step back. Uh, it's necessary for us to be able to step out of the situation, to be able to see it with clear eyes or from a different perspective. Now, in regards to your challenge, you have the karma card here. So the karma card in this deck represents the justice card. So the justice card next to the hanged man I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be experiencing um, situations that come about that are almost like they've been almost like like situations that are starting to come up that needed to be taken care of a while ago. So for some of you guys, it could be revisiting old situations for others, childhood 
connections, childhood um, traumas, perhaps for some of you guys, having to deal with that. Uh, because again, like I said, the justice card, or sorry, the karma card does represent the justice, but it also very, uh, very well represents that of the past. So I feel that for some of you guys, and then this hanged man is making me like not knowing how to process what I'm feeling right now. So I think that for some of you guys, you may be experiencing having to revisit certain situations, certain circumstances, even dealing with people from the past or from your childhood, that perhaps there was a lot of resentment, there was a lot of like, just very, I don't want to say negative, but it's almost like things that you kept to yourself that perhaps you never expressed or you never like address certain situations or how you were feeling at that moment in time in your life. I feel that now it's coming back around, not in the sense of being going through the same thing, but in the sense of having to revisit that only to understand what those lessons were in that childhood or the, what those lessons were in that situation to now um, coming about and understanding or even seeing things from a different perspective. For a lot of you guys, it could be um, dealing with, you know, with people that you've resented for a very long time and you're revisiting that only to help yourself heal through that process and being able to finally forgive them or being able to finally let go of that, that which was experienced in the past. This can also represent um, relationships as well, like uh, people from your past coming back around, people that hurt you, that, you know, took you for granted, that um, that lied to you, that cheated on you, whatever the situation was, it's like that person is coming back around or that situation is coming back around, but it's going to bring a lot of healing to you. And I think that this is something very necessary because it's almost like they're saying you're purging yourself from whatever it is you considered that made you broken or that whatever situation or whatever circumstance made you feel like that broke you or like that damaged you, I think that that's coming back around and you're finally understanding that, hey, you know what? This person didn't break me. Or this situation didn't break me. They made me wiser because I grew stronger, because I, you know, I learned from it. I perhaps judged very harshly, but now I'm understanding that, you know, I was judging from my perspective of who I was and not what the person was going through at that point in time. That type of scenario, I feel that that's very heavy energy for a lot of you guys. It could be childhood trauma. So, just be mindful about that. And again, try the best you can not to judge very harshly. Now, your in regards to your emotions with the element of water, you have the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is finally someone is tired of this or someone is tired of the situation. For some of you guys, this reading could be very connected to that. Um, having to revisit that relationship or having to revisit a situation that made you feel a certain way where now you have to address it, address it face on instead of sweeping it under the rug and making a decision from that, whether the decision is to continue the relationship or whether it's to stand your ground and to know your worth and to say, you know what, honey, I deserve better than what you've been treating me or how you've been treating me. Because the nine of wands is like, you're tired. I'm done with it. I'm not dealing with that anymore. So it's almost like through these negative experiences, you're going to get to the point of understanding your true self-worth and your true value. And once you understand that, honey, you are powerful and you are strong. Nothing is stopping you. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to be pulling out one card. This is going to be Spirit's advice for you for the month of December. And your card is... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. You see that? And this is exactly what I was saying. It's almost like with this nine of wands, you've had it. Like you're done. You're not dealing with that anymore. Whatever circumstance or situation, whether it's in love, whether it's 
uh, being taken for granted at work, not being appreciated. It's like whatever situation has been testing you these, ca these past couple of weeks, the end of that tough cycle, the end of the resistance, the end of the difficulties is quickly approaching. And it's a pivotal moment for you, Gemini's. It's time for you to grow and become the butterfly you're meant to be or become, you know, the radiant person, joyful personality that you are. Don't let anyone change that about you because that's what makes you you. And we just experienced the full moon in Capricorn. So again, a lot of shedding, a lot of purging and with purging, Unfortunately, sometimes we have to deal with things from the past, but because we are detaching ourselves from that situation. Beautiful, beautiful cards. All right, Geminis, I hope you guys enjoyed. For those of you guys that don't follow my Instagram, I highly encourage you um, to go follow me. I am going to be, uh, like we did the past couple of years, we're going to be doing one free question, live streaming, uh, free readings. Uh, for all of you guys out there that are interested, definitely stay tuned. That's going to happen in December the 22nd at 7 p.m. California time. And also for those of you guys that are interested, we're going to be doing giveaways for the month of December. You guys stay tuned as I will be announcing how to qualify uh, in the next spell video that goes up. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.